I am, my cultural background, I am originally from Morocco. That's where I was born and raised. So that's, so I would say Morocco is my cultural background. My cultural background, um, to be politically correct, African American and Mexican, but actually in Ms. Love's terms, I'm black. Um, my grandmother, my dad's mother, is actually full-blooded Mexican, and so I have a quarter Mexican in me, descent, and then I have 75% of being African American black. I am African American, and I have a little bit of Cherokee Indian in me. So I was adopted from Calcutta, India when I was four months old. I was actually born on the streets of Calcutta and dropped off at a Mother Teresa orphanage. My cultural background is uh, African American um, by way of Southern Illinois. <laughs> I'm an African and a black and I come from a culture that has a lot of diversity. just being open-minded to different cultures, to understanding people who come from different places, who may think differently than we do. It means being compassionate and or being aware of differences. And I think that's awesome because we all were created different and in our differences is what makes us very unique. And I think it's awesome for us to, to embrace that. For me, it means that I have knowledge of other cultures, uh, but also that I'm accepting them of, of other people. Okay. It means accepting all different types of people, no matter what your color, no matter what you believe in, uh, just being willing to accept students and teachers and any staff members just for who they are and what they believe. Not judging other people, I think that's very important. One's uh, background, um, whether it be religious, non-religious, family, uh, geographics. Um, like I said, the world is, 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 is such a diverse world nowadays that uh, it's totally accepted and as it should be. You know? Diversity culture simply is an embodiment of characteristics that uh, pertain to a particular group of people or a people. The way they believe, the way they behave, the way they interact with the environment. It's really good that we are aware of those differences so we can accept them better and we can embrace those people as part of our community and it really enriches us as well um, to be able to mingle with these people from different cultures and see that really we have more similarities than differences. Well, again, as I said, I think it's important because it opens us up and it takes away a lot of bias, a lot of prejudice um, that we have in, as people. And I think when we are compassionate to others and we are aware um, that other people have different thoughts, other people have different beliefs, different religions, um, and those things are what makes us so unique. And I think here at CCHS, we are like a melting pot. Uh, because we have all these cultures, different cultures here, uh, it gives us this tremendous opportunity to get to know each other, um, learn about each other, and appreciate each other. Uh, also have a tolerance for each other, which makes the world a better place. Spread the message that accepting others is very important. I think I love CCHS. I actually begged my mom to move me to CCHS. I went to a small school south of Carbondale, and we came here strictly because I wanted to be in a high school that was very diverse and open to other people of one another's uh, background is, is the, the main thing. Um, I may look a certain way, but it doesn't mean necessarily that's my background. You believe may not be what I believe, but we are going to get together because we have differences and we will try to understand each other's belief and have respect for that. <laughs>